Hello guys, welcome back to e Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In this lecture, we are going to find out the support reactions for this given beam. So this is a simply supported beam and there are two different loads acting on this beam. One is the concentrated load of 5 kN acting at a distance of 3 meter from this hinge support. And there is a uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter over the distance of 4 meter. So we are going to find out the support reaction for this beam and then we will also verify that either we found out our support reactions correctly or not. So to find out the support reactions, let's consider this is support A and this roller support is support B. And this support take the upcoming load in the upward way. So this is the reaction RA and this is the reaction RB. As there is no horizontal load, so we don't consider any horizontal reaction of the hinge support. Let's consider now the summation, summation of moment at any point equal to zero. So let's suppose in this case we are going to take the summation of moment at point B equal to zero. So we will take all the moment about point B and then we will take the summation of all these moments equal to zero. So we know that RA and RB these are unknown to us. So these are the required data. Now to find out the moment we know that the moment formula is force multiplying with the moment arm. So we will find the force and then multiplying with the moment arm so we will get the moment. So to find out the summation of moment at point B Let's consider the clockwise moment are taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moments are taken as negative. Now, the starting with this RA, it is the acting in upward direction and it will create moment in the clockwise direction about point B. So it will create clockwise moment here in this way, which is acting in the clockwise direction about point B. So that's why it will be taken as positive because clockwise moment are taken as positive here. So it will be positive. This is the force. RA is the force multiplying with the moment arm. The moment arm for this force is the distance from this end up to this point. Because we want to find the moment at point B. So it will be 3 plus 3 plus 3. So the total distance will be 11. 3, 3, 6 plus 4. This will be 10. So it will be 10. And then this force, 5 kN, again creates a moment about point B. But this moment... This will create the moment in the anti-clockwise direction about point B because it is acting downward so it will create anti-clockwise moment and anti-clockwise moment are taken as negative. So it will be minus 5 multiplying with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this point on which the force is acting to the point B. So it is 3 and 4 which will be 7. So these are the two moments. Now also this load creates a moment about point B. So how to find out this moment? So this is a distributed load. So first we have to convert into pointed load. So this 2 kN is acting over the distance of 4 meter. So it will it is acting downward in the same way as 5 kN. So it will also create the moment in the anti-clockwise direction about point B. So it will be again taken as negative. Now this is a 2 kN load distributed over the 4 meter, so it will be 2 multiply with the 4, multiplying with the moment arm. So this force acts at the center of this distributed load and this at the center of 4 meter. So this moment arm will be 2 meter because it acts at the center of this uniformly distributed load and this is the distance of 4 meter, so the half of 4 will be 2 meter. So it will be 2. Summation of all the moment about point B equal to 0. Now 10 RA, if we shift this value onto the right side, we got 16 into 35. Now RA comes out to be 51 dividing by 10. So RA comes out to be 5.1 kN. RA comes out to be 5.1 kN. So we assume that it, it is acting in upward direction. So we have plus sign here. It means that our assumed direction was correctly. Now how to find out the RB? 
So we will take help from this equation, from this equilibrium equation, that summation of all vertical forces are equal to zero. And let's suppose the upward force are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. Now the upward forces are RA and RB. So RA and RB, these are acting in upward direction, so they are taken as positive. Now this force is acting downward, also this force is also acting downward. So minus 5 kN and minus this load, which is 2 kN per meter, so it will be 2 multiplied with the 4, because this load is distributed over the distance of 4 meter. So 2 multiplied 4, we have now pointed load. Summation of all the vertical forces are equal to 0. So we know that Ra is 5.1 kN. So we shift this all into the right side. We got 5 plus 8 minus Ra. So Rb will be equal to 5 plus 8 minus R is 5.1. So Rb comes out to be 7.9 kN. So this is the support reactions at the point B. Rb is equal to the 7.9 kN. Now, how to verify that either we found out our support reactions correctly or not? So, for this reason, let's consider, now to verify the support reactions, let's consider the summation of all vertical forces are equal to zero. And the downward forces, the upward forces, will be equal to the downward forces. So, the upward forces are Ra and Rb. And these are the only forces acting in the upward direction. It will be equal to the downward forces. Downward forces are 5 kN and plus this distributed load which is 2 kN per meter so it will be 4. Now Ra is 5.1 and Rb is 7.9 is equal to the 5 plus 8. So if we add these values it comes out to be 13. So 13 kN is equal to the 13 kN. It means that the upward forces are equal to the downward forces. Or similarly the summation of all vertical forces are equal to 0. 13 minus 13 equal to 0, 0 equal to 0. So all the vertical forces are equal to 0. It means that we found out our support reactions in a correct way. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily 7 engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.